Hi there, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to take you through the construction process of this, our luxurious six bedroom duplex. Telling you the important things to look out for and how to ensure quality in that your own construction project, as well as what it took us to take this project from the decking to the parapet level. Stay tuned as we take you through the process. So, after the decking is completed, the first thing that we do uh, uh, as the next stage of work is the setting out of block, which is more or less called the masonry work. Here, we set out and confirm alignment after the decking. So it's more or less like transferring all the wall lines from the ground floor using a plumb level to the upper floor. So whatever the walls are aligning, we ensure particularly all the external walls, we bring them up. Then you ma we mark all the wall locations accurately. And then of course, confirm that the doors and windows are all marked out correctly. Then we check to confirm that the columns and, be and the beams from the under aligns with the block walls. Now, when we are setting out, the most important cost of block is the first cost. Now, this is because if you miss it on that cost, it affects everything you're going to do subsequently. So when you're setting out on the decking, you ensure that the first cost is accurately and painstakingly done, ensuring that all the corners are square and align with the blocks under or wherever... Um, there is no block on that, of course, there will be provisions made for that on the decking so that you have a beam that will carry whatever uh, block work you're doing there. So this is very important. And at this point, there are some things to note. First of all, you have to do all your layout at one go. This will help you to ensure, for instance, you get, don't just get one line and start raising the courses of block on that. You get one line, get the other one, get all the four corners of the building and ensure that everything is square. So if there is anything you need to do to um, modify one or two blocks to align with other ones, you do it before you start the next one. Because if you just do one, by the time you um, identify that one is not exactly as way it should be, it will have been too late. Then if possible, use chalk lines to mark centers and save time aligning. So if you do that, you'll see that you, it will help you to ensure that, that all the walls align, particularly when you have a best eye view, seeing through everything that uh, you've done. Then the next thing is about the block quality and bonding. First of all, ensure that the blocks you are using are of top quality. You can do a quick check in the sides by carrying the block to a waistline and allowing it to, 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 to drop. If it breaks, know that the quality of that block is not very okay. But if it doesn't, then that means you have a good quality block to uh, do your works. Then of course, um, use 
ensure that particularly when you're doing a duplex ensure that you use nine inches particularly for the uh, external walls then of course and all that load bearing walls then you can use six inches for internal or partition walls now um it depends on the particular bond you choose but if you choose one if it's stretch out bond then ensure that you continue with that okay then if um the decking is very dry dampen the whole thing before you lay your blocks it helps the block and the decking to bond very well um you know one of the ways you could save at this stage is to consider buying your blocks in bulk from block makers it will help you to reduce cost of delivery and in some cases you could get some uh, discounts here and there that will help your work Now, for this project, the first day comprised mainly of the setting out as well as um, confirming all these details. And after that, after the first courses of block have been laid all through the building and all the necessary squares and every other thing confirmed, then it was to continue to raise the courses of block to the um, window level and of course continued of course as you can see here you will notice that we have a voided parlor which is more like a double volume uh sitting room so the second day of work saw most of the block walls move to uh six six or more courses while the third day and fourth day of uh, block work saw most of our walls as you can see here get to the linter level so for this particular project, the little level is nine courses of block, which is the normal thing that will give you 2.1 um, headroom with the door height, 2.1 meters. So that is what we did here. And after that had been gotten, of course, at this stage, the iron benders as well as the carpenters are getting ready to start the lintel work. So now that the lintel has started, it's important that we um, actually describe and let you know what a lintel is in case um, it's a new thing. Now, a lintel is a horizontal uh, member, you can call it a structural member, placed above a wall opening, you know, such as a window or a door or other aperture to carry and transfer loads from the structure above the opening down to the supports on either sides right now there are uh, the following are the purposes or functions that a lintel performs in a building number one is to support it is to serve as a support above openings now this implies carrying the load of the wall or such above the door and window it could also um you know, without a lintel, the blocks or bricks above wall or uh, above the window or doors will just naturally collapse. There will, there will be nothing to hold them. Now, the second function of a lintel is load distribution. You know, when we do our chain lintel, it links every part of the building through the columns. So this helps to distribute load evenly to both sides of the walls to avoid cracks. So every other thing coming from above, you know, gets distributed along all the columns. Then the, the third one is stabilizing the wall. It strengthens and ties together sections of wall above openings, helping to, re to reduce uh, differential settlements. Then, of course, aesthetics 
and finish is another purpose for which uh, linters have been done on buildings. So it provides a straight level surface for plastering and window uh, door frames, dressings. So it keeps the opening neat and uniform in height. In most cases, we use the linter kind of to correct the height because when laying blocks, you see that, yes, they are not the same messing, so um, the mortar level may vary or the heights of blocks if you are buying from two different vendors may vary. So you see that the lintel is more or less a, on a plumb level so that by the end of the day, you get a relatively level surface. Then the next is integration, which is the number fifth purpose, the integration with reinforced concrete framework. So the lintel here um, is a concrete framework that now binds everything together through the lintel, links to the columns, and takes everything down to the foundation. So these are the major functions of a lintel in a building. So by the time we did this, uh, our own lintel in this building, of course, the voided parlor we had to scaffold and also start laying the blocks to take it to the next um, lintel level because at this point we had to chain everything around to ensure that the, the building is bound together. Now, after completing the casting of the lintel around the entire building, the next thing is to lay um, the topping blocks, like the leveling blocks, to the parapet level. And in some cases, this varies. Um, some uh, sites would do three blocks, and some would do four blocks, and some would do two blocks. But in this case, what we did is three blocks leveling. And that's marks the end of this milestone that is from the decking to the parapet level waiting for the parapet and by the time these were completed it was noticed that the following materials had been used 54 lengths of 16 mm rods 72 lengths of 12 mm rods 40 lengths of 8 mm rods, 4,000 9 inches blocks. The cement that we used at this stage was 130 bags. And of course, we bought um, 120 1 by 12 by 12 boards for the boarding of the lintels. And the sand that we used, that is the, the 15 tons, were 4 trips. And of course, we used 20 tons of chippings for the casting of the columns and the lintels. So note that there were also provisions for the electrical pipings and the plumbing pipings. And um, all these materials that were used to make this construction project possible from the decking to this parapet level in today's value cost $8,522,000. Naira. Additionally, the cost of the labor, which includes the um, block carrying labor, the messing, the iron bending work, the carpentry work, um, the casting, of course, and the laying of blocks from the decking to this parapet level cost this project two million one hundred and eighty thousand naira and this brings the entire total 
of both material and labor to do this luxurious six bedroom duplex from the decking to the parapet level in today's value to 10 million seven hundred and two thousand naira thank you for being with us this far as we continue to show you how we bring dream homes into reality at umec and see you on the next one